celebrate the incarnation of Christ inside the womb while they ignore people living inside the womb. How can you celebrate Jesus Christ when he did, when, when you banned, when you won't let us on the property? Okay, out of the driveway, please. Let's go to the sidewalk. If you want to have this conversation, we'll go to the sidewalk. I certainly will. Okay. Why are you so opposed to us coming on your pro on the on the property? I am opposed to the signs being shown in broad daylight where I have a five and seven year old in my van that do not have the the ability to avoid seeing the signs. That is what I am opposed to. This, this is not a victim image. This is what I brought on on the property. You're opposed to this? No, I'm opposed to that this and that one this. down there. What what was wrong with me coming onto the property? I don't care about the property. Well, I mean, the guy who's calling the police on us, why would it, Why would they do that? Well, it's private property. this saves people's lives. Some people turn away from murdering their children when they see these, these victim images. I understand so that's more that. more important, okay? Yep. So you should acknowledge yeah. that and, and live with it. And that my children need to be forced it. to see this at the age of five. Do you want them to live in a, in a culture that murders children? Do you want them to grow up in a culture that does that? That's why we go to church, sir. And tolerate child murder? No. Yeah. No. Well, what, what actions are you taking? What actions, what are, you actions are you taking? Yeah, to abolish abortion. No, it's a serious question. What actions are you taking? We need to speak up the votes for... Okay. Well, most Christians are doing nothing. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Most Christians okay. are doing nothing. So, I, I don't support it. Okay. Well, but, but what are you doing? I try to, to vote for people that aren't for that. Okay. But most people that we vote for do nothing about abortion. They've demonstrated okay. that. So what, we, need, we need Christians to go out to the abortion mills and by the thousands every day to shut them down. We need to vote for abolitionists to abolish abortion, not to treat it as health care. Okay, I understand that. But a lot of times this stuff gets tacked on to other stuff, like pro-gun, which I am severely against. Why? Okay. Why? So you're saying Why? the government has the right to take away people's rights? No. No, they don't have the right to take away, but or I feel they should be controlled. Ban. Why? That's not the government's job. I have mental health issues personally at the age of 18 i almost killed myself i almost walked in front of a fucking cta bus okay okay why, why would that give the i the right to with mental guns? health should not be able to own a firearm okay but um, so that's should we not take the government's away job the government's job is not to regulate and like control what people can own the government's job as described in the bible is to punish the evildoer and it's not evil for you as, <laughs> You're twisting. As, you are so twisting the words. You are so twisting um, the words. As someone who has mental problems, it's not evil for you to own a weapon. Just because you would use it, just because someone would use it to kill themselves doesn't mean that we should restrict the use of guns in our culture. People have the right, that, that's the Second Amendment. We need to have guns to protect ourselves, to protect our country. I understand that. And to protect our, our I understand have a family that. to protect them. The government but should I be able have, to walk to a... You know, walk into some flea market in Iowa and buy an AR, AR or an M16, you should be unlimited able, you should magazines, be to, unlimited the rounds. The government has no right to tell you you can't I do should that. Not. No. That's not the government's job, man. The government's job well, is described in the Bible. Romans 13 is to punish the evildoer and to reward those who do good. They're overstepping their bounds if they if they do anything else. But the the problem here in this country <laughs> so, is look look, look what we're doing to children. Look what we're doing to children, and most look Christians what, look, look the other way. Look what I'm doing to my children, what having to drive them through here. I have zero other that? escape route. What's wrong with that? To not have them see these pictures. You could educate your kids about this. Yeah, man. they you need to know about the Holocaust. Take this as an opportunity to educate them and say, "Hey, we live in a At nation five, that murders babies." Do you have children? No, I don't. Do you have children? No. I, do you have children? No, I don't. Have children, but I, okay. but I want to have children. Okay. Well, I, I understand that. I do not want to subject my children to seeing this coming out. On a Sunday. Okay. Okay. And we and we're saying you can take children. this opportunity to educate them. No. And, no. And, and are you? Are, are this you is okay? are you this okay? is forced viewing of something to ch minors. Okay. You're forcing that view to my ch it's minors. Necessary. Children. We're in a war right no, now. It's a no, necessary it is not. action it is not. to save lives. We are in a battle. Are you? Are you okay with we're raising your children and and? And the nation that practices child sacrifice every day. Are you okay with that? We do not practice child sacrifice. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Get the fuck out of here. This, this, okay. is, this is child sacrifice. Please. People sacrificing their own children. See, your attitude right now, that's why we need to be here. Because no, people think not. People think this is okay, okay to murder children. It's a status quo. Christians go about their business like children are being murdered by the thousands every day. That's why we need to come here with urgency. Do you know like, how many up. children a day die of starvation? No, why do you? you why, why does that matter? 6,000 per day. In the okay. world. Die of starvation. So are you, are you doing something about in the that? World. Okay, do you know that like around... Am I doing eight, something? I'm doing something about you clean water. You understand okay. around 8,000 8, kids are murdered by like abortion and IVF every day in this nation? In this nation, Thousands. not just the world. 
the nation every day. So what's the priority here? What is your, where are your priorities, sir? Are you prioritizing the needs of people in your community? Love belongs to all. And Jesus tells me I have to give that to all my neighbors, not right. just my nation. Including right. your preborn right. neighbors. Including your preborn neighbors. But but the priority should Children be with the, the people are your neighbors. that you're living with. Right? Yeah. And and we need to act like they're our yeah. neighbors when they're being ma massacred every day. We're okay. not doing that. I get your I get your point. Okay. What I am angry about is the fact that you're here forcing my children to see this stuff. Why are you more concerned about that than that children are being butchered every day because in Because they're five. I can't have this conversation with them. Sure you, you could. Yeah, you no. can. There they they can grow up have, to be people soldiers. people have kids who are five years old or around that age who hold signs like this. I, I understand that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's not that crazy. But they are not at that point where I can have that conversation with them. Okay? Okay. That, but we still need to show this and save people's lives through it. Okay. Well. And people here, they, they need to see what they're tolerating in, the, in this community, bye. in this culture. Why is that a funny question? Does the Holy Spirit live inside of you? Yes, yes, it does. Quite honestly, he does. Would you take some order to sir? You know what you guys need to do. You need to walk in that church right there. And you need to sign up for men's church. Christ renews his parish. That is a program that will change your life. I don't care about born again or any of that. Christ renews his parish is a is a program that will change your life. Right inside that church. Well, Jesus said we need to be born again. Yes. It's the most okay. important thing. Yes. You don't want to die and go to hell. Why, why is that something to laugh at? There's a lot of people who go to because church, but they're not born again. Because you have zero understanding of what this what this place means. Oh, I do. I know that this many ple people here ignore mass murder that's going on right down the street on Saturday morning. And the way you treated us so far demonstrates that. How, the way I treated you? Yeah, the way you talked, the way the guy threw me off the, off the property um, when I was merely coming to, to ask for help. 